How's it going, bros? And welcome back to another installment of Art Extravaganza 2016. And um, this is week three of Art Extravaganza. So, just to recap, um, if you haven't seen my previous videos, Art Extravaganza is a collection, um, a summer collaborative collection with uh, three other YouTubers. Uh, YouTube artists. Um, JMI Creations was the first one to uh, start up the collective and he asked me, Nyrell Busby, Lynn Doodles, and Amanda Elise, so four more, sorry, <laughs> four more YouTube artists, uh, Amanda Elise, Lynn Doodles, Nyrell Busby, and myself, and him, uh, to join this collective. And um, yeah, that's basically just to recap, um, week one was uh, the advanced palette challenge, week two was uh, mythical creature, and week three is a redraw of an old piece. Um, now I've done this in the past before, um, it's really really just a great experience to do and just to see how much you've improved. So I had a hard time picking a piece because I have like over... 400 pieces on DeviantArt that I usually go to DeviantArt for redraws because that's where I first started and that's where my oldest pieces are. So looking through uh, DeviantArt, um, I couldn't find a piece that I really really wanted to do because some of them are just sketches in Spamano and I couldn't find something visually interesting that could show how much I've improved. So I went over to my Instagram and I went all the way down to the bottom and then I found this piece. Um, it was a uh, Romano in a custom-made wedding dress that I personally made um, and back in the day I used to watch a lot of wedding shows like say yes to the dress and uh, four weddings and stuff like that so I, I don't watch it for you know it's like oh I hope to get married one day no I just watch it for the wedding dresses because I really like to to see the designers and just to see all these wedding dresses and you know I'm a sucker for design so um so yeah this was like a custom made wedding dress like my wedding dress like I would want this made for me which looking at it now it's, it's a little floofy <laughs> it's a little big for my taste but anyways um not like I'm gonna get married any anyway but anyways anyways um, the redraw I did uh, of the piece was I made that piece in April on April 10th 2014 so this was two years ago um, and I remember that I was so in love with this piece I wanted to share with anybody everybody um, I just really like the detail I put into it and how much attention I put into it and it was very nice and elegant and just overall perfect just the way it was looking back on it now I see there are mistakes especially in the facial area and the bodice and stuff like that in the hands oh boy the hands <laughs> um yeah and I I was really hesitant to redraw this piece because it was one of my favorite pieces back in the day and I don't know if my style could do it justice <laughs> Like, I, re I really didn't want to go and make it worse, like, see my style get worse, if that makes sense. Like, I see no improvement at all. But, um, but at the end of the day, after I finished the new piece, uh, it looks so good on the gray toned paper. And the facial features are a lot nicer and more, um, aligned. And the body is more relaxed. The anatomy is um, on point I guess and yeah it looked a lot neater and a lot nicer and a lot more natural than the old piece which I actually really like this old piece too and I added some glitter to it just saying it looks fantastic um but that's all I have to say I'm really proud of this piece now and I was really proud of the piece back then but yeah um, I did recap what the collective was. 
So, um, in other news, um, <laughs> I might as well keep going. Um, in other news, I went to a art judging this past week uh, for 4-H and I was able to win Grand Champion and I was able to go to State Fair, selected to go to State Fair. So that's super exciting. I've been to State Fair twice in my eight years, no, three times in my eight years of uh, painting and drawing but um, in 4-H. But uh, this, I've never been able to win State Fair but I feel like I really could win this one. I don't know, they really liked it. Uh, what I submitted was the mental disorder pieces. I only put six of them because only six of them could sit, uh, fit in the frame. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to vlog at the state fair um, because it is my last year and I just kind of want to vlog around and show you guys Indiana State Fair. And um, since the summer is almost coming to an end, and my college um, experience is about to come up. I am going to try to start a vlogging channel uh, pretty soon. I've been hesitant <laughs> about doing that because I know I can't do daily vlogs, that'd be just too much, but maybe weekly vlogs uh, would be a lot better for me but I don't even know if I want to do vlogs like I don't know if I will be able to keep up with it um, but I don't know I've been thinking about it let me know let me get let <laughs> let me know if you would like to see something like that but um but yeah that's all I have to say and I hope you guys like this video um, Stay tuned for more uh, collective pieces from the Art Job Against of 2016. There are two more weeks to go. So, um, yeah, there are two more weeks to go, so look out for those videos. Um, I, again, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you guys have a great morning, afternoon, evening, wherever in the world you may be. And I will see you guys next time in whatever video I make. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Bye!